Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphen here. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to properly balance your camera on the Moza Aircross 2. First and foremost, make sure that you have your gimbal on a leveled surface when doing this, because if it's a little crooked, your balance is not gonna be 100% on point. Before we start, each axis on this gimbal actually has a lock. So I recommend having each axis locked before you start balancing. So with the Moza Aircross 2, there are four different aspects you have to balance. And the first thing is the L bracket. The second is the tilt, the third is the roll, and the fourth is the pan. With the Moza Aircross 2, you can mount the camera on either the L bracket by itself or with the quick release place on the L bracket. Here, I actually have the camera with the quick release plate system on the L bracket. To me, this is my preferred method because I can easily pop the camera on or off, get to the battery port, anything like that, and I don't have to worry about doing a rebalance. So I recommend using the quick release plate system. So here's how we have it. The cool thing with the L bracket or with the quick release plate system is that you can actually mount the camera horizontally like most video. Or if you wanna do vertical shooting, you actually can do that as well as the L bracket and the quick release plate system will mount directly onto the side right here where the tilt goes. But today we're gonna to balance this how all video should be shot horizontally. Make sure that the tightening screw where the L bracket goes is unlocked and loose. As you start to push it in, you'll see that there's resistance. Make sure that you pull where that tightening screw is so that you can let it slide in. Then go ahead and let go of the pull and then go ahead and lock it somewhere in the middle. So in order to balance the L bracket, go ahead and unlock the axis lock on the tilt. And then you're gonna slightly loosen the tightening screw for the L bracket and you're gonna move it kind of back and forth until you find the sweet spot where the lens consistently stays pointing upwards. With these gimbals, you wanna actually make sure that you are making subtle movements to find that perfect spot. All right, now that I have the lens pointing directly upwards, I can lock the L bracket. Now we move on to the tilt balance. Then from here, go ahead and point the camera forward to have it as balanced as you can in your hand. Unlock and loosen the tightening screw for the tilt axis and slightly push forward and back until you find the sweet spot where the camera does not fall back or fall forward. Once you have that, go ahead and lock that tightening screw. Then the next part is to balance the row axis. So unlock the lock on that row axis and then loosen the tightening screw. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna slightly move left and right. Same thing, you're gonna want to find that sweet spot where the camera does not tilt or fall to one side. Once you have that in a good sweet spot, go ahead and lock that tightening screw. The last part that we have to balance is the pan axis. So go ahead and unlock that one. Now I've seen two different videos that Moza has posted up that has two different methods on how to balance the pan axis. I've seen one where they're literally just balancing it through here while it stands still on the you know, tripod but this doesn't seem to really make sense to me. Now, maybe I have this wrong, but I'm more used to it. And what makes more sense to me is balancing this pan axis with the gimbal sideways, where this doesn't move so much. Again, you're gonna wanna slightly move left and right until you find that sweet spot here. Now that seems to be pretty good. It's not moving around. So this is personally what I think works best, and it seems to be the most accurate way to balance the pan axis. So there you guys have it. That's how you balance your camera. Now to double check, to make sure you actually did this properly, one of the amazing things about the Moza Aircross 2 is that through the screen, you can actually do a balance check to make sure that every axis is balanced correctly. And if it's not done well, the actual screen will tell you which one needs to be adjusted. So let's go ahead and do that now to see if it is balanced properly. Once your gimbal is on, you're gonna hold that record button until it goes into the menu system. Then you're gonna go down to advanced and go right to select that. Then you're gonna go to balance check, press right. And now it's checking and it'll tell you if there are any errors. So as you guys can see, we got a pretty well balanced gimbal. Now we go left to exit and it'll remind you to please manually check and balance the P axis. One very important thing to note is that the balance check will tell you if it's well balanced or not and it'll suggest what part needs to be adjusted. It'll tell you if it's the C, which is the L bracket, the T, which is the tilt, 
or the R, which is the roll. And it'll tell you to go more towards the plus or the minus side, which on each axis, it actually has a minus and a plus on opposite ends. So it's guiding you on where you probably need to move to get it well balanced. Now, it does not do a balance check for the pan axis, which is the last one that we did. So for that part, you always have to manually do that. And again, there are two different ways that Moza has posted on their YouTube on how to do it, but my method, I think, seems to be the most accurate. So there you guys have it. If you guys are interested in getting this amazing gimbal, I do have links in the description where you can purchase it from either B&H Photo or Amazon. It doesn't change the price that you get it at, but it does help this channel. Please make sure to drop a like on this video, drop a comment below if you have any more questions, and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.